again to A Tale of Three Cabins. I just returned from Tennessee a few days ago and um, I brought my tractor in. It's a rainy day here in Southern Ohio right now, so I brought it in overnight just to put on a triple charger. We had some cold temperatures while I was away. It was in the minus, minus four, minus eight overnight. Um, I greased up some of the fittings on the loader in the backhoe. And uh, since it's set to a rainy day out, I might um, tackle putting some hooks on. So I bought this John Deere 1025R subcompact tractor, uh, Series 1. Um, back in October, it's been long overdue with our properties. I should have bought one 20 years ago. It's been very helpful. So today I'm looking at putting some uh, hooks on my loader bucket that I bought from Titan Industries. I purchased these on eBay, and even though it says uh, 5 16 3 8 chain and 5 16 chain will work with them. You can go directly to their website with free shipping, but I had some eBay bucks to use up, so I essentially got one of them free. So the hooks call for half inch holes, and I thought this would be a good time to try out a step fit from Harbor Freight. I've never used them before and I got them for about eight dollars and I think they ended up working out well. I'd also like to paint these once I have them on. Um, I purchased some uh, paint from Lowe's. It's supposedly John Deere green. We'll see how closely that matches up. It looks pretty good from the cap. Um, it's below 50 degrees right now outside. It's supposed to be a high 50. Uh, the paint says a minimum of 50 degrees to use. I turned on my little heater here, radiant heater, to maybe warm up the metal. And by the time I get to the painting process, hopefully it'll be a little warm and maybe a little drier in here. I'm just going to use an eighth inch bit just to put a little dimple into the metal before I start using the step bit so they don't walk away on me. So I'm dipping the bit in a cap full of transmission fluid from time to time just to keep it from overheating. So the first hole, this didn't go too bad. Once, once that initial uh, bit broke through with the first level, all of them pretty went pretty pretty quick.
Well, I gotta say they went out a lot easier than I thought they would. Those Harbor Freight bits did a pretty good job. This is a pretty thick metal. It's not the strongest bucket. Of course, it's you know a subcompact tractor, but um, it drilled right through there, and um, I was pretty pleased with it. I actually thought it was gonna be harder. So I uh, taped off the hooks, getting ready to spray paint. Hopefully uh, you don't need to treat these hooks with anything. I cleaned them up the best I could. I didn't know if you had to sand them or do anything prior to painting them, but I guess we'll find out in the long run. Um, it's just to make it look a little better. I'm sure they're going to get scratched up once you start putting chains on there. So give it a try. Okay, we'll let it dry for a little while, give it one more coat and see what happens. We'll keep our heat on. Be back in about a half hour. Well, it looks like we're dry to the touch. It's been a little over an hour. I'm gonna give it a second coat and then uh, I'm gonna raise the bucket up so I can uh, be a little closer to this so it can dry before uh, the wife gets home. open the door to clear out some of that uh, diesel fumes and I'll close it in a little bit here and then we'll give it a couple hours and take the tape off and put the tractor away for the night. All right it's been a little over another hour. Doesn't look like the radiant heat caught my newspaper on fire so that's good. I'm gonna start peeling away some tape. Hopefully it won't be too soon. If that's tape or if a little bit of the paint might have ran underneath the tape itself. Otherwise it doesn't look too bad. And I hate to put a chain on it. Okay, here's the finished product. 
both sides look pretty good. Paint matches really well. I'm gonna give it another hour, let it dry in here a little bit more before I take JD out to the shed and, and put him to bed. Well, that's gonna be it for today. Thanks for checking us out. It'd be great if you could subscribe to us and keep an eye on us.